The Selfish Giant Once upon a time, there was a castle standing in the midst of a city, which was empty for many years. No one stayed there. People say a giant used to live in the castle, but in all these years, nobody had seen any giant there. Have you heard about the giant of this castle? I guess they're rumors. We should not believe them. Has any one of us seen any giant here? No, 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 no. We should enjoy the beauty of this place, then paying attention to such rumors. But who maintains this garden then? There was a beautiful garden around the castle. It was full of blossoms, woods, fruits, birds, and butterflies. Every day, many little children used to play in the garden. It was the most liked and safe place for the children. They all used to play different games. Running behind the butterflies was one of their favorites. Hey, look at that orange butterfly. I'll try and catch it. Run behind it, but, but don't hurt it, please. No, I won't. The garden was as beautiful as heaven. And then one day, the giant arrived. He was happy to see the beautiful, well-maintained garden. Ah, my beautiful garden. It seems it is still blessed by the Mother Nature. I'm happy to be here. It was afternoon when the giant returned to the castle. There were no kids playing in the garden then. The giant liked his peace. However, in the evening, the giant was disturbed with the noise outside. The children had come to the garden to play. The giant liked to live alone. He didn't like anybody around him. He decided to go out in the garden. As the giant entered the garden, the kids playing there got scared. They started screaming and running all around. Everybody was looking for an escape. The giant was very angry to see so many children playing there. Go away, you little monsters. You'll spoil my beautiful garden. Go away! And don't ever try to enter in my premises. This is my garden, not yours. All the children playing there rushed out of the garden and went home. The giant went back to the castle and enjoyed the peace around him. The giant was asleep again. The children thought that the giant had gone, and they couldn't resist entering the garden. The giant woke up again to find the kids playing in his garden. He got furious, and he shouted at the kids. The frightened kids ran away. The giant kept an eye on the garden from then on. He didn't even sleep at night. Late at night, he saw a branch of a flowered tree falling down. He didn't understand the reason behind it. The next morning, the giant saw a few children playing in his garden again. He rushed to the garden angrily. The kids were very scared when they saw the angry persona of the giant. The giant decided to raise the height of the boundary walls of the castle. Now the giant was all alone in his castle. Nobody could enter into the castle. The giant is very selfish. How can someone enjoy the garden alone? He must be a very sad person. We should find out why he is sad. We'll ask him to play with us. We can ask him only when we'll be allowed to go in. Hmm. The giant used to sleep for a long time. When awake, he used to sit in the window and watch the beauty of the garden. But he saw some branches falling down every now and then. He thought... But it'll be for some time. As the spring comes, my garden will blossom again. He sat in the window throughout the winter season, watching his garden go dry day by day. I'll wait for the spring. It'll groom my garden and make it more beautiful than ever. Spring came and went. 
but the garden was still dry. Not even a single flower was left. No birds or butterflies. The giant was very unhappy. Why isn't there any blossom in my garden? Why Mother Nature turned its face from my beautiful garden? Is Mother Nature angry with me? But why she would be angry? The giant thought about it for days and nights. He was now fed up of his loneliness. One fine morning, a few kids sneaked into the garden. They played there for some time until the giant saw them. The giant was angry at them. He ran to them shouting. All the children ran out of the premises at once, except one of them. The giant saw a little boy standing under a tree. He was shivering as the giant reached to him. He was crying badly. What are you doing here? Please don't kill me. I won't come here again. Do I kill people? No. I'm not a bad person. No, no. I don't kill anybody. I won't kill you either. Don't cry. I want to go home. Please let me go. What were you up to before I came here? I wanted to climb up on this tree, but I can't. Oh, is that so? Let me help you. The giant lifted the boy and put him on a branch of the tree. Now call your friends inside. You may play here. The giant observed the beautiful smile on the boy's face. The boy called his friends to play. The kids came in and the giant returned to the castle. On his way back, he saw a small plant with a couple of flowers on it. He was surprised to see them and happy too. He turned around to see the kids playing merrily. Then onwards, the children started playing in the garden as they used to. And very soon, the garden blossomed as it did in the past. The giant sitting in his window understood where the real beauty of the garden lies. <laughs>